Hey everyone, uh, today I want to take a look at uh, Minecraft and its dead zones. Uh, this is kind of interesting, but let's start with the camera. So the camera uses about a 39-40% circular dead zone. So this is massive, but uh, the circle shape is good, and there's no, there doesn't seem to be any restricted diagonal movement. So uh, this is a very nice circle, just um, it has an obscenely large dead zone. Movement, on the other hand, has a smaller 25% dead zone, however it's square. So you have to move outside of the square before you start seeing movement occur. Uh, there is a restricted diagonal movement that comes with the square dead zone. It's a little difficult to see, but I can make bobbing motions and point at very obvious angles and you'll see I'm moving perfectly straight. But as you see, like I can just move over here, now move left, diagonally, forward. The um, shaded region at the top is the range you need to be in to trigger a sprint. Um, is, um, as you can see, I'm sprinting right now. If I fall beneath this range, I stop sprinting. And I think this is also the um, range to uh, double tap to sprint as well. Uh, and if you fall beneath it uh, at any point, uh, you'll stop sprinting. So even off, off this graph, as you can see, my stick can go off this, this graph. Uh, the other dead zone uh, used is this menu cursor, and this is exactly the same as uh, movement. Uh, you won't be able to see it too well because the acceleration starts extremely slowly for this. But uh, you can see the restricted diagonal movements a little bit. You can see it starts inching over and stays stationary, and then starts inching over. So this game is pretty interesting in that the camera is done well with a circular dead zone, but the dead zone is huge. Uh, the movement has a smaller dead zone, which is nice, but it's square. Uh, something that should happen is that the, um, the movement should be changed into a circle, and same with the cursor dead zone. And dead zone options uh, could be given for both sticks. Um, so that players could find what's most comfortable to them. Um, circular dead zones would make movement feel a little smoother since you're you're not locked into um, like four directions across the stick. And um, smaller dead zones, of course, for the camera make uh, precise adjustments nicer and just aiming feel uh, more responsive in general. But otherwise, uh, that's it. Thanks for watching and have a good rest of your day.